hi guys welcome to this easy eda tutorial this is just a getting started tutorial with easy eda for those of you who haven't heard of this great tool easy eda is a free web-based electronic and circuit design tool this is basically a one-stop design shop for your electronic project which offers schematic capture spy simulation pc board design and pc board order services there is no need to install any software on your computer as we're gonna learn in this tutorial all you need is just to open easyda.com in a web browser this could be from your computer or from your smart mobile device easyda has all the features you expect from traditional electronic design automation softwares like orchid altium deep trace among others this tool easily takes your design from conception through to production there are many advantages of using easy eda the first thing to note is there is no need to install any software on your computer you can just open easy eda in any html5 capable standard compliant web browser like the latest google chrome firefox internet explorer opera or safari it's not restricted to any operating system so whether you are using mac linux windows or android all these platforms are supported as this is a web-based design tool there is no need to update the software whenever there is a new version it's automatically applied to all clients when the server software is updated another great feature of using this tool you can also share your design with the online community which is increasing every day even if you don't have your own resources like your own pc you can use any PC or even a mobile device, whether in internet cafe or computer lab at university. All you need is a computer connected to the internet. You log in into your own account, then you can start designing. And once you are done, you can save your data into the cloud and you can access it safely anytime and anywhere you like. With EasyDA, collaboration is really made easy. You can invite colleagues and partners to collaborate in electronics engineering design. You can also have access to open source hardware modules developed by thousands of electronics engineers worldwide. EasyDA is also supported in many languages, so you can do your design in any of these supported languages, like in English, French, Portuguese, Spanish, and so on. EasyDA provides schematic capturing, clever spy simulation, PC board layout. You can import PC board and schematic files from Eagle, Altium, KiCad, and LT Spice. Let's start a new project and see how we can use EasyEDA to design a simple circuit, do some simulation, and create our PC board. After you have logged in, click New Project. You can create a new schematic or create a new schematic library, create a new spy symbol, create a new PC board, and so on. In this simple example, we're going to start with a new schematic. This is the overview when you start a new project. On this left-hand side, you can select your component symbols you want to place. So if you click on this ground symbol, you can choose either the ground 1, ground 2, ground earth, all you need to do is to click on the symbol, then click on the canvas to place it, and right click to deselect this symbol. In the filter section, you can type the name of the component that you are looking for, or you can click on more libraries to search hundreds of thousands of components. So let's say if you are looking for this 78 zero five voltage regulator you just tap the name of the component and it's gonna give you the options you can see you've got the 7805 7806 and so on or you can also click on more libraries here you can browse and search for hundreds of thousands of component you can select the category whether you're looking for diode or leds and so on whether you're looking for open source library, like libraries from SparkFun, Underfruit, KiCad, and so on. You're going to place this component. You can use the wheel of your mouse to zoom in. 
Okay, let us add another device. Let's say resistor. These are the resistors. You can select either you want to use the US symbol or the EU symbols. I prefer to use the EU symbols. To place it, just click on the resistor and then click on the canvas to place it. So once you select your component on the right hand side design manager, you can modify the values of this device. Let's say this is a name 1K. So if you want to change the value, I can the prefix R1, you can also make it R2. If you know the supplier, you can also select the supplier of your component. Okay, we're just going to delete some few ground. You can select the ground and press the delete button on your keyboard. In this example, we're going to create a simple voltage regulator using the LM7805. You can also select a device. You can also move it any way you want on the canvas. You're going to need two capacitors. So all you need to do, type C. You can select the type of symbol that you're going to use. In this example, we're just going to use this symbol. Going to delete this resistor. Now we need to join this component with wire. The hot key is to press the letter W on your keyboard. W. Then we can start joining. So basically, that's how you can capture your circuit. You can also add any other component that you like. You can also build your own component if they are not included in Easy EDA library. The second step in this tutorial, we're going to do some simulation. Simulation is very important in any design. It helps you to check the integrity of the circuit designs and to predict the circuit behavior. We're going to add some voltage source to our design. going to place the battery. going to place also a resistor. If you want to rotate a component, you can just press the space or the R button on your keyboard. I'm also going to place an LED. going to rotate it. I'm going to place an ammeter to measure the current through my LED. Ammeter. As you know, an ammeter is always placed in series with the component that you want to measure the current through. Let us join our component again press w we're gonna also place some few voltage probe to measure the voltage at certain places on this circuit under the wiring tools you can select the voltage probe rotate we're gonna place the first voltage probe to measure the input voltage the other one to measure the output voltage you can double click and give it whatever meaningful name that you like in this example we're gonna call this v in and this one we're gonna call it v out now our schematic is ready for simulation let us change the value of our resistor we're gonna set it to 330 ohms okay let's change our voltage to 12 volt Okay, let's start our simulation click run the document what is going to interest us in this simulation is the transient parameters which is the time domain response of the circuit We're going to set the maximum time step to two millisecond stop time to two start time to zero run ezda is going to automatically open a waveform tab this is our graphs to be able to see clearly, let us put each graph on a different pane. Click waveform config. The current, we're going to leave it to the first pane, the voltage in. Let us put it on the second pane, the voltage out on the third pane. You can also change the colors of your graph. Let us change the color of our V out probe. Set it to red. Click apply. You can see now we can see clearly our values. The current through our diode is 9.368 milliamp. The voltage in is 12.42 volt. And the voltage out, more or less 5 volt, is 4.895 volt. Once you are done, you can export the waveform as a CSV file. 
and the last step in this getting started tutorial we're gonna convert this schematic into pc board what we're gonna do we're gonna put some connectors we're gonna use this connector to convert a schematic into pc board it's very easy with ecda once you are happy with your design click on convert project to pc board and if there are no errors, everything will be generated for you. All you need to do is to drag all your component inside the board outline. I'm going to select all my component. Once you are done, click on auto root icon. You can specify all these parameters like the track width, the general clearance and so on. Once you are happy with everything, Click run. This could take some time depending on the size of your circuit. Router completed successfully. Okay. We could also add some mounting holes. We're gonna need four mounting holes. And the last thing, we're gonna use the copper area tool to create the ground area on our PC board. Click on the copper area and draw a border around your PC board. okay so this is our pc board guys depending on your design if your pc board has got several layers you could also add copper on different layers and that all guys once you are done you can save your pc board in this example we're just gonna name it getting started save the last step in our design is to export the GEBA files for pc board fabrication click on fabrication output Go to options, you can either download all our GEBA files or you can simply use the PC board fabrication service of EZEDA which offer low cost and high quality PC board. You can specify all this input like the layers of your PC board, the PC board dimension width, the PC board color and so on and it's going to show you the estimated total price. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to receive more tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.